I guess first of all, Sean, it must be great. Finally, we're talking about rugby again, and you guys were all preparing for this under twenties championship down in Cardiff. Yeah, it's fantastic. You know, I'm really pleased for the young players. Um, they're desperate to to get back involved in rugby. A lot of energy. Um, 17 to the 32 are going to be under 20 next season, so they're young, but really, really keen. And same with the staff and the coaches and all the support staff, just to get back and get the feel of a rugby ball and be able to play touch rugby, let alone tackle rugby. So um, we've had four camps. Um, you know, we had uh, two in April, which are large numbers, so 42 at each of those camps, and a little internal hit outs there. And then in May, we've uh, had two two camps again and played England twice down in Newcastle. So that was a that was a, a a good experience, a really good learning curve for the boys, and uh, you know we were competitive against them both times. But you know we're uh, we're getting ready now for for the Six Nations. And do you see a real hunger and desire because obviously it's been such a challenging year for everyone. But in a rugby sense, these guys must be like just dying to go, like yourself, just to get out there. Is there a real hunger and desire you're seeing in, in camp? Definitely, it was pretty hard to hold them back. Really, you had to be careful and go through the, all the protocols and make sure that you know we were tested before we could do contact and. You'd think that the players would, would take it easy in the contact, but even though we built it up, they, they, they climbed into each other pretty quickly. And, you know, there's just that energy there. And, you know, they're just, just, just waiting to get down for their first game against, against Ireland on the, on the 19th of June. Just can't wait. And several of these players have now got exposure in the, uh, in the pro team, Edinburgh and Glasgow. And we've talked about it before, the under 20s is a key, has a key role in, in, in the, the pathway for Scottish rugby. You know, it's almost like that third pro team. How, how pleased are you that these guys are getting that exposure and getting that game time at a professional level? Yeah, massive. You know, and it's, it's important that uh, you know, we've only got two pro teams. So it's important that we make the environment as professional as we can and, and, and coach them the right way and make it a welcoming environment, but a challenging one. Um, this is the first step for them, really. You know, they're playing international rugby almost week in, week out, so so it's pretty tough. But if you look at the Glasgow game um, recently against Dragons, you look at the players that have come through for, you know, Thomas Lambert coming through, Rufus McLean as well, then Stephen McDowell, um, the Fagersons both come through, Scott Cummings, George Horn, they all been pretty. Adam Hastings, they've all been pretty recent converts from from the 20s into the into the pro and into Scotland. So it is a, a really important pathway for Scottish rugby. Um, and we've got to make sure that that continues. Um, they need to play the game. They need to play play rugby, especially after a year of not having played much rugby. They need to play. And th this tournament is quite unique. It's, it's, it's taking place, which is great, but it's going to take place in Cardiff for five weeks. It's going to be you know, a long time away down there. But I guess some of the positives from that are that you'll get that that, that time with that co-group. How excited are you as a coach and a coaching group just to have that intimate time with the players? Yeah, really good. You know, it's going to be a challenge. You know, you can't do much down there, so we're going to get to um, see what we're like 24-7, I would say. Um, but it's important we have some downtime, some chill time as well. You just say it's a long time to be away, but to play those five games, they'll live and breathe rugby. Um, and for the staff as well, and they've got young coaches along, and Chris Burney and Karen Beatty, along with myself and Shade, and Rob Christie, who's been working with us at, uh, from Southern Knights. Fantastic group of young coaches there that have hopefully have learned a lot, but have have given to the players. It's been, a, as I say, a pretty full-on period now as well in the build-up. So, yeah, looking forward to it. Um, with a lot of planning being in place in terms of what we're going to do. It's, you know, it's a five-day turnaround, so you know you can't train every day. Um, there's a lot of work we can do. So we're just working through that now. We've spoken to the national coaches as well, who have been really good and, and things they did over the Six Nations. So, just looking at ways to make sure we uh, we enjoy ourselves, but at the same time, we're there to, to win games of rugby. And first up, with regards to rugby, is Ireland. What do you expect from them when you're looking at them? What, what kind of challenge would they, would they pose? They're fit, uh, they're hungry, uh, and yeah, they, they come through a system where they're, you know, they, they are pretty, on the, in the contact area, they're pretty physical. So we've got to be ready for that. Um, the first game in the last Six Nations against Ireland over there, we had a, a good group, and no matter how much you tell the players, you know, it takes 20, 30 minutes to get into that level, that level of intensity. So. We need to hit the ground running against Ireland. Um, they're, they're always pretty sharp. It's more about us. It's more about our group of players and getting ourselves ready, getting them ready to really enjoy it and, and use that energy the right way. And, and just on Scotland then, Sean, we, obviously winning is hugely important in, in any sport you play, but what will make a, a successful tournament from you away from, from the wins? Yeah, well, obviously we've got to perform in every game. You know, we've got to play to our best and that's all you can ask the players at the stage. You know, they are a little bit rusty, um, but we just want to make sure they they give the best of themselves to, in the Scottish jersey, um, but also we want to make sure they enjoy it. 
you know, this is, they've got to enjoy playing rugby as well and being in that environment, as I say, 24-7 and becoming, becoming better people as well as better players is really important. They come out at the other end ready to go and uh, just delighted to be involved in rugby.